with the following equation with the following equation of the line parallel to y axis the equations given are y is equal to 0 x plus y is equal to 5 y is equal to x and x is equal to 1 this is a multiple choice questions to solve the question what shall we do is first of all we just draw the simply the quadrants then we think which point is suitable y is equal to 0 we write y is equal to 0 we write 0 x when we write 0 x that means x is 0 y is 0 x is 1 y is 0 so that means the line is on the x axis so this situation cannot be possible x plus y is equal to 5 is already not possible because it is an equation of a line line is not parallel to anything clear here so y is equal to x is you know that it is a 45 degree line so it is also not possible x is equal to a will be your required answer because if you take x is equal to a here you mark a here you think of this so here you think of this so when you think of this so thinking is very important in mcq questions clear so thinking is very important what did i say thinking is very important when i say that means it is important x y x is so you need to write zero y here when you put value y as zero x is a when you put the value y as 1 x is a that means x is a is here so you see that when when x is a y is 0 x is a y is 1 the line will be straight line parallel to y axis so that means this is your y this is your y dash this is your x this is your x dash that means b option is a correct answer thank you yeah ad and ce are the angle bisectors of angle a and angle c respectively if angle abc is equal to 90 in the question it is already given that angle abc is equal to 90 we need to find the angle aoc here it is o angle aoc is it clear to find this question first of all it is already given that ad and ce are the angle bisectors when ad and ce are the angle bisectors obviously these two angles we mark it equal to a so these two angles we mark equal to b because ce is the angle bisector that's why it is angle b if i mark it angle b this is also also angle b it is angle a and a are equal so we are writing first in triangle in triangle abc we know the angle sum property so angle sum property says that angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree dividing throughout by half when i divide throughout by half i get half angle a half angle b plus half angle c is equal to 180 divided by 2 it is 90 degree so angle a is angle a half we can write small a angle b half we can write is uh, it is 45 because angle b is 90 so it is 45 degree angle c half we can write c we can write angle c half we can write b so a plus b is equal to 45 degree on solving the linear equation so in we have to find angle aoc what do we do we use the triangle aoc in triangle aoc in triangle aoc we can write a plus angle aoc is plus angle b is equal to 180 degree clear so a plus b is clearly visible you have found it it is 45 degree so we'll write 45 plus angle aoc is equal to 180 degree so in this way angle aoc is equal to 135 degree we have to transpose 45 to the other side thank you okay in this particular question pq is parallel to rs to find the value of angle m 
since PQ is parallel to RS, PQ is parallel to RS. That means here PS is a transversal. When PS is a transversal, that means angle Q P S is equal to angle T S R is equal to 56 degree because alternate interior angles are always equal. Alternate interior angles. Angles. So we get this angle as 56 degree. To find the value of M, we can find it using angle sum property. That means M plus 14 plus 56 degree is equal to 180 degree. We can find the value of M in this way. This is 70, 180 minus 70 degree, which is equal to 110 degree. Think and do. This should be the concept in learning the things.